foliage is foliage the weeds I should say really are just about done it's a case of not overdoing it but there are there are some here and there all the way round and uh, this is going to be a, a vine I've had these bits of stalk from grapes since uh, right since I started the project so they're two years old from a bunch of grapes and they've been stuck in a corner of the kitchen work surface all that time um, looks a bit like a Christmas tree at the moment with the pins in but that tape and pins will come off uh, and then the stretchy the stretchy material from whoever they are I don't know it's an American company called it's called uh, Woodland Scenics um, that's going to build up the actual material and I've made the last 16 stockings and they've worked um, especially the pink ones They're very cute I mean you'd fall in love with that girl wouldn't you but there's a problem and it's that the uh, they're too large the girth of the stocking is too large and the camera is not going to focus you don't think no it wants to focus on my beautiful face and not uh, not, the, not this but you can probably see just from uh, the silhouette that the the girth of the stocking is probably oh, more than twice uh, the girth of Drusilla's leg. So I've got to remake them. And that has been the making those has been the focus of the week's work. Um, and a lot of hours with the with the experimenting and uh, having to put two layers of um, PVA on and the colour and repairing the holes uh, and this is one of those moments where really this was meant to be the week where I finished effectively I, I, I'm going to do a, a little book um, like a little smash book to go with it but I it was the well, theoretical target was by the end of this week by Friday today's Wednesday um, to, to have it finished but <sighs> no way it's going to be at least another week and I'm going to remake those stockings hopefully it will I need to now I know the the procedure the difficulty with it is the reason that they, they are that girth is that the brown modeling wax um, when you move it between finger and thumb to, to roll the, the sausages just like rolling sausages as a basic technique for any kind of clay or wax work once you get down to sort of less than four millimeters the warmth of your of your fingertips just makes it disintegrate and there must be a way now it might be that I can do it with putting the wax in the fridge which firms it up getting out rolling it a little bit putting it back in the fridge working on several sausages at the same time perhaps maybe I'll be able to get it down to, to that um, that girth which I guess is it's under under three under three mil um, otherwise the other way is I had to make some kind of an extruder um, as a sort of children's activity with ceramic clay and I, I even knew one adult, one or two adult artists that tried to do it um, for sort of like cartoony characters. You put the clay in a, uh, it's like a garlic pressing thing from the kitchen and you, 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 you press it and lots of little worms of clay come out of the garlic press holes. They, of course, would be too thin. That's about, it's about one, one and a half millimetre in girth. But it may be that that's the, the way I could do it, if I can find some way of pushing. Uh, you, you have big extruders in, in ceramics, big wall-mounted things that, that produce a, a you know, big 
cylinder of clay that girth but you can make them any size if you've got the right kind of fittings so I may have to jerry rig something like that press on You know, it's wrong to say that uh, everything was disgusting in the Middle Ages. But um, some things were pretty bad. They weren't so good on uh, sanitary engineering. Just after I made that last uh, video clip. I went out to the car to get my drills and drill bits and uh, for something else that's completely unconnected. And the top of my box that I keep my drill bits in is transparent and so I'm still thinking about the issue of making the tiny sausages the size of legs from a very soft wax. And ta-da! This I saw in my, in my box. Um, a drill gauge and that is just proved to be uh, perfect for uh, taking a, uh, a wax sausage getting it down roughly to the size I, I, I wanted or I thought I wanted which was two and a half mil um, and then pushing it through and getting a, a kind of worm of the, uh, of the brown wax but I did make a mistake in when I was talking, actually the day before your steaks, I took a day off. I made a mistake, I said PVA. It's not PVA. The PVA, I've now done an experiment doing it with PVA and doing it with uh, Mod Podge. Um, and the PVA just breaks up uh, when you put it in hot water, but the Mod Podge doesn't. Um, but at two and a half mil, it's still struggling for lack of hands. Uh, it's still too wide in girth uh, for the leg. So I'm gonna have to try one and a half mil. The issue may well be that I've only, only, I only done one this time. Well, I did two, I did one in uh, Mod Podge and one in PVA um, because the, the, the time and the fiddle um, so it's experimenting, experimenting. I my worry with one and a half mil is that's going to be so fine that I won't be able to get the wax out, even if I can make a. It's almost like it's down to down to the size of a a piece of wire. But that's my smallest sculpture sculpture tool that has a sort of uh, slightly hooky based thing on it. Um, that's proved to be the, the right thing for getting the melted wax or the soft wax out of there. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but that's the next experiment anyway. And, and the Mod Podge has proved interesting because early in the project uh, it proved useful, or I used it anyway, trying to learn what the stuff was, how it worked. Um, and then all the way through most of the project, I haven't used it again. And I said at one point, I don't really think it's any better than PVA. Um, but then I, the, it's proved just the thing for the stockings. And it's proved ideal for gluing uh, the um, foliage that I showed you recently on here. Because it is actually more matte. It, it, ha it looks kind of plasticky in some situations um, but at other times it's more matte than the PVA. I've done tests on matte uh, and this is the first layer. I, I'm just not happy with it being uh, all one colour. The pins aren't Christmas tree baubles, they're going to come out. You can see a little bit of the Mod Podge uh, just there. Uh, it dries transparent and, and, and matte. Um, I'm going to uh, nervously 
uh, spray paint this uh, a, a slightly darker shade than it is uh, and then stick another layer of it teased out very thinly on top so the uh, the depths of this sort of climbing vine ivy or whatever, or whatever it is um, are going to look a darker green than the uh, outermost parts they have survived. listening Seven to off. the cricket today and uh, therefore doing something that doesn't need too much thinking about having a bit of a tidy up uh, and now that the um, piece is almost finished you can see that the uh, the tree's finished still struggling with the uh, eternal work of the washing line um, but now that we're almost finished you might remember that right at the start of the project I showed you the the block of uh, foam that I've used as the main construction material and I said something then about well I don't really like it and particularly I don't like its environmental credentials I don't like the fact that it's essentially a plastic and it's going to be around forever but you will remember that block um, that was quite expensive I think it was about 40 quid um, well, I could swear it was no larger in general bulk than my torso, for example, probably less. And yet, that is the, the model, it's made, and all of that is left over. It is absolutely mind-blowing how the the sort of overall storage volume that it's going to take and I, I'm now sort of looking at cupboards thinking how on earth am I going to store it because I can't bear to throw it away and I said I think well I won't be you know I won't be using this material again after this uh, project um, but I've got enough there to be going keep me going I think for the rest of my life if I was to be making buildings out of this stuff it's just astonishing well this is the um, top coat application of this uh, very special um, black paint which is Stuart Semple Blacker Than Black 2 um, designed hopefully against a dark background it will make the, the stem um, completely non-reflective and maximise the chance of achieving that illusion of it looking like um, it is a, a flying lump of earth ripped out from the ground and this is a ceremonial act because um, this the build is finished and it's good to say that actually I shall I should take some photographs and um, maybe a, another video clip to, to do a full uh, overview um, and it's middle of August 2020. Should do so. I need to work on some other projects because I've got an exhibition coming up in October. Um, but then I need to make the book uh, telling the story of the Sign of the Silent Woman. And that's got to be done before November, uh, which is when uh, submissions are made for the Rugby Open exhibition, if indeed that happens um, because museums and galleries are only just um, opening up and there's no news on that if it doesn't happen um, then the whole thing will be have to be kept wrapped under plastic for uh, over a year and then storage becomes a problem sooner or later you hate the things that you've made or I hate the things that I have made uh, Yes, I sell them, 
Uh, I start to hate them just because of the space they take up. But um, that's it finished. And that's been two years of my life. So I wonder if it's been worth it.